Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest and we are back in New Cycle. Um, I'm really excited to get back into this game um, and see how far we can get. Last time I played, um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself in for. <laughs> so now I've got a little bit more experience in the game. Um, I'm thinking about going with the hard settings um, on the meadow. So let's see how we go. Let's start the game and start a new cycle. Okay, so let's have a little look. We've got water layer out here. The wind layer looks like it's pretty good around here as well. Mining fertility is more this way. So we've got to make sure, I guess, that we don't necessarily build our living buildings, etc. there. Um, and drilling as well. I haven't got to the part of the game where we need to be drilling. So I'm guessing it's here where this sort of light cloud is. So let's look at this. Water is over here. So let's put our main hole. I think we should put it just in here. Let's do that. Let's speed up time a little. Okay. So what has the community got to say? We're in the new cycle. Oh, do we want the tutorial? I'm going to continue without the tutorial. All right. What else do we have? Let's do a field camp. So. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking... I can't get a field camp close by that's got both stone plus the iron ore, or a lot of it anyway. So why don't I stick one here? There we are. And that'll do wood and, oops, wood and iron. And then this one is for stone. So I just put it a little bit further up here. And then we can get stone and the wood there too. All right, cool. Let's do the gathering camp. This is important. We need the mushrooms and the hunting meat. Can I get this two mushrooms? No, that's a shame. Uh, where else could I possibly? Hmm, it's a bit far away I feel. I'm not sure if that really matters a whole heap, but just in case it does, let's place this one. Oh gosh, what does that give us right there? Oopsie. Come on, play ball. No mushroom. Let's place it here. No, I don't like this at all. Oops, I didn't mean to, <laughs> to quit that one. All right, let's do that. Might not be the best one that we could have come up with, but that's okay. Okay, let's get guys onto these. Beautiful. Um, what else? We need a well. We definitely need a well. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's eight of nine. Great. Can I bring that closer? No. Okay, let's just build that there. That's great. Um, I am actually going to try to build a second well. Yeah, the water is pretty good by the looks of it. Let's build this one here. There we are. What else do we have? A lumber mill? Definitely need a lumber mill. So let's th get that down. Beautiful. So we've got resource gathering. We've got the lumber mill coming our way which is awesome. We do need some lumber for our development, I believe. Yes, we need 24 lumber. So until that starts up, we can't really do much. Oops. There we go. Three people gathering mushrooms every day. That's what we'll start with. Perfect. So, aha. Great, let's get some people making lumber. I'm gonna speed up to the highest speed. I can't put their road down yet just because of the lumber situation. So what do we need for the first development? 24 so we can 
start making some food. That's good. Okay, so I need to connect the road to these wells, etc. I'll do that eventually. I'm not going to sweat it right now. We're on 21. What do we need? I think I said 24. 25. There we are. Let's start this one. The basic construction. That should go fairly fast on this um, on this speed. Beautiful. Okay. So, are you guys playing this game? Let me know. Let me know how you're in. Uh, how you're finding it? If you're enjoying it, I'm certainly enjoying it. Um, okay, so our production is done. We need the soup kitchen for sure. Let's pop a soup kitchen down. There we go. What else can we do? The stockpile. Yeah, that's pretty important. Let's do the stockpile. Actually, I'm going to leave space for a road there. Oh, we've got people who want to join our village. Let's get those guys in here. Yeah, perfect. And then once the soup kitchen is done, we will start making um, start making some soups with all these mushrooms that we've gathered. What else do I need for living standards? I need 22 lumber so that we can make people's houses. So we need to just wait a little bit for that one. I'm going to have to build another gathering camp actually so that um, so that we can get some more mushrooms and everything. So I'm just going to pause a sec. So we do have fish, meat and mushrooms here. I'm tempted. Look, I'm just going to try it and see. That's a long way from our camp, but I'm just going to see if that'll work at all. I have no idea. All right, can we do living standards? We can, let's do that. And we also definitely need to start building a road between everything. How many do I need for that 14? That's all right, we can hold on. I really do like the music in this game as well. It's very nice. Oh, great, we can make some shacks. That's awesome. So that means that our population will have somewhere to live. So. What I'm going to do, if our kitchen is here, um, where does it, oh, it gets stockpiled here as well. Um, let's make it so that, look at these people working their butts off, very nice. Um, okay, so we've entered the Iron Age, so that means that we've got, oops, we've got um, opportunity for the, oh, okay, lady. <laughs> I've got opportunity um, for the guys who were um, at the gather no not gathering camp which one field camp to get to get um, some iron ore um, okay so unstable living conditions are about to consume us do something to improve morale all right I'm going to take that request on board because I think that we can probably do a few things to increase morale we're going to make some houses to start with that's number one um what i'll also do is look at um the happiness of everybody the simple meal i'll pop to medium see what that does and oops water i will also pop to medium and then housing will also go up. So let's see. I don't think it's going to be enough because we need to get to 40. So I might have to put water and food to um, a regular supply. Okay, so where's this over here? Let's start gathering mushrooms. Yeah, we've got a steady supply of water. We've got a good supply of food as well. I think we should be good. Running up to seven. All right, let's do regular for both. I don't know if that'll take us to 40, <laughs> but it should be higher than what it is. Uh, 
All right, we've got, what, 21 lumber. What do we need for metalworking technique? Oh, okay, we can do it. Let's do that. Beautiful. What else have we got? Nothing just yet. Let's make this road here so that everyone's a little happier. Great. Okay, so we can now farm the iron ore, which is wonderful. We can also put down a forge and a smith. That'll be quite good. Um, let's do the smith. Okay, that's the same width as the kitchen, so let's keep that together. Um, and the forge, it's a little small baby building. That's all right. There we go. So is this a message from the community? Give us the means to make tools. Okay. I'm going to say yes. Let's do that. How's our morale going? 19. Hmm. Are our three houses built? They are. I'm going to have to build another house, aren't I? Looks like it. You know what? Let's build the road this way. Oh, I can't. I don't have the... <laughs> I don't have the resources. That's fine. The water's going okay there. How's the water on this side? Yep, that's fine. Um... Well, you guys can't gather any mushrooms. So that's okay. How are you going with this one? A little bit of wood left. There's all the iron left, so you're fine. And this one, all the wood is being cut down, apparently. Oh, okay, cool. Let's make some iron ore. Iron, sorry, iron ingots. Okay, great. We should have housing. Oh my god, we still only have 80% housing? Wow, I'm actually really surprised with that. No, we should be at 100 now. Really? But this has room. Oh, maybe I need to build another one. I don't know. Okay, the objective is complete. Great. The... They have a... Oh, no, it is 100% now, the housing. <laughs> So I've got above 40 for their morale. I'm going to pop this back to, oh no. See how this comes, it, they're going to get sick if I don't keep feeding them, which I would love to do. So let's just keep it on that for now. Let's look at our next development. We can do the power grid. Let's do that one. Once we start getting some tools, we can do the other ones as well. Which should be quite good, especially the hunting. Okay, beautiful. Let's make some tools. There we go. So I can see that we've got two workers that aren't actually doing much at the moment. In terms of work, but that's okay. There's a soup kitchen. Um, I'm wondering if it might be prudent to build another one of those. Quite possibly. Not really sure where though. We'll try there. All right, moving forward. Chief, a community center made up of just a few tents doesn't feel very secure. Let's assign resources to take steps to strengthen the roofs over our heads. All right, why not? I mean, it can only be a good thing, right? Let's see what development can we do next? Oh, we can do hunting. Fantastic. And then we'll do the community needs. Great. We've done we've done the objective for the tools and we've also successfully upgraded our um, main hall. Okay. And it looks like we might need to put a bit of power down from the windmill. What can we get here? Where's can I get the maximum? Oh, that's a good one. 
I thought it was up one more. No, it's not. All right, let's just pop it there. And then I just have to run. I'm guessing I have to run a road out to it. Beautiful. Is that connected? Yes, that's connected. Look at our little village. This looks awesome. Yeah, nice. Got our kitchen. We got main hall. Housing. Hey, who wouldn't want to live here? <laughs> who wouldn't want to live there? I don't know. All right. A scout wants to speak. So we're representatives of a small community. Our expeditions lead us to your settlement and we are delighted to see such an advanced community here. We would like to barter with you and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Being friendly with the neighbors, that's what it's about. <laughs> okay, let's anticipate that we're going to be able to do some hunting. Ooh. I'm going to have to take somebody away from collecting the mushrooms, and that's fine. Let's take a... Um, no, let's just leave it as is. Okay, what's this one? So, we work long hours in this scorching weather without a proper water supply. Oh, no. If you think you can get away with abusing us like this, you're wrong. Increase water distribution, decrease the working hours, do whatever you can to ease the people's trouble. Oh, okay, so. I could decrease the working hours. Let's do that. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know if that'll help them or not. We'll see. What did we start on? Minus five? Mm. <laughs> um, let's also build another well. I thought we were doing really well with our water supply, but clearly I was mistaken. Now that we're building another well, actually, I wonder if I should pop this back to one. I could always pop this up to a regular distribution for tools too. Let's see how that works out. All right, what else can we do? Just community needs. So we can do a tavern and a graveyard for when people start to be, um, start to, you know, leave, leave us. <laughs> I'm gonna put these shacks down. Um, Uh, because I anticipate that there will be a few more people joining us. So. That will be quite good. All right. A group of travelers. Yes. Two more workers. That's excellent. All right. You need a road. Might just put that there for now. Build three shacks? Oh my god, I just did that. Oh shit, seriously? <laughs> Alright, let's build three more shacks. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Oh, somebody's here already? A merchant. Let's start trading. Iron ore? For basic tools and meat. I guess we could uh I guess we could use our tools. 41 tools. How many how much ore does that get us? Yeah, great. Because we don't have a huge amount of iron ore around us. put our resources into making more meals. Of 
Great. Okay. I can't believe that I built those shacks. <laughs> and then um, I got the quest to build the shacks. Uh, that's just... <laughs> Oh, it's just bad luck. All right, let's build a tavern. People will love the tavern. Oh, no, you can't reach. Objective failed. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that's just what happens. So, utilities, tavern. I can't quite reach this third one here. Let's build it there. Can I move this? No, I can only demolish it by the looks of it. That's okay. Now we need also, we'll build a cemetery too. Which is pretty sad. <laughs> Gosh, the music in this game is, is lovely. It's honestly lovely. I think that's the best way to describe it, is lovely. Let's see if we can connect some of these buildings. Nope, not yet. I'm getting too greedy, because I don't have the right, <laughs> enough resources. Connect those ones first. How's this well going? Oh, the water's back, great. Jeez, look at our water though. I have no idea. I wonder if building road to it does anything. I don't know. Is that class is connected? Oh yeah, it is. Great. This one needs connection too. Beautiful. How are you going out here? Let's do one more person on the meat. Gathering the meat. Oh no, here's a humble request. <laughs> we rapidly evolved from a small camp into a proper village. People are the cornerstone of the fast growing stable community like ours. Let's try to raise morale of the workers above a certain threshold. Yeah, all right, I think I can do that. So I have to do it above 70. Okay. And what have you got for here? Life in regulation. Chief, our transition to settled life will, be, uh, will bring with it dozens of issues that need to be resolved. We almost have our daily lives in order. We have secure housing, food, etc. We've come to believe that we're now entitled to some freedoms. We'll continue to comply with our assigned work schedules and perform our duties, however... Anyone who doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work should be able to buy some extra rest by selling his share of food or some other supply. You should allow us to barter amongst ourselves. Eight morale, but I'm going to lose five workforce to all classes. Yeah, let's do it. That'll help us increase morale. Oh my god, it's only at 37? So if I drop this to low, then you'll be happier? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's just see the consequences of this new arrangement, I say. So what else can I put in? We've got all that done. We've got those buildings. We've got these ones. Okay. How's our stockpile going? It's fine. We've got lots of iron ore. Not so many iron ingots. I wonder if maybe I should make another forge. That's not the worst idea. Let's do it. Let's bring the road up here too. Okay. Losing hope. Oh no. What's wrong now? I thought we were doing really well. <laughs> Do something to improve morale. All right, let's get that as well. Oh, hang on. We do have work morale above 70 now. Huh. 
Well, that's great. That's fantastic. I thought we'd have a double morale, um, a double morale quest, but we didn't in the end. That's okay. Gosh, look at it all. Hey, look, the houses are like, oh, maybe because it's, what are we in spring? Yeah, they've got like these little plants growing on the houses and some such. Oh, look. They're just doing their work. That's so cool. And hanging out at the tavern. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, I realize that I have no workforce to assign to this forge, so that was maybe a little silly. Do we have any children? Oh, there's one person that's sickly. We've got two children. That's good. All right. Oh, this this building has been inactive for too long. Reactivating buildings after a long period of inactivity slightly reduces their efficiency. Oh. So that was a silly idea then. Well, why didn't I get rid of them? Oh, sugar. Oh no, a building's on fire. Oh dear, I thought we were going so well. Honestly, I thought we were doing really well. And then our kitchen is on fire. All right, let's see what we're going to do. I say let's do a full res response. We need to get rid of that fire. Look at this person out here with the hose. That's pretty cool. It's like a... She's got like a... One of those little portable firefighting trolleys. That's cool. I like. Okay, I'm going to say let's get rid of this house here. This shack. And possibly this one as well. Um, those ones are within the tavern, so I say let's leave those. Okay. Oh, I've got four new workers. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> let's put another one up here on the meat collection. There we go. That also gives us the hides or the leather, sorry, for when we need to make clothes. So hopefully, I think we have to get to a population of 50 for the next cycle, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, how are we going? Meat's a little low. I guess that's okay because mushrooms are quite okay. We've got heaps of the other resources. Um, oh my gosh, we've got 263. Wow. <laughs> Right, so did I get somebody in this forge? I did, that's great. What's wrong with you? Oh, the meat. Yeah, all right, we'll just keep doing your best. Six children were born this year? Oh, wow, there's eight children, that's wonderful. It must mean that people aren't doing too badly. Okay, the morale's getting a little low, but I mean, ooh. Okay, I need to repair the kitchen. Wonderful. Okay. I feel like everything's going fairly well. Okay, so, oh, okay, so for the next cycle, I need, yes, I need 50 population. That's great. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get to that fairly quickly. How am I going on? So 85, why don't we make another lumber mill so that we've got a little bit more power in the coffers there we go oh you've got nobody to work here oh that's why we suddenly had four people yeah okay i'm gonna take it out of that one let's pop him in there i'm also gonna take a few from this kitchen and pop them back into this one there we go Great, a group of travelers. How many? Oh, four. Okay, we're getting so close. Okay. So we're at 43. How are the houses looking? We're at 100%. Okay. 
So you're fine. Oops. Um, that one's fine. So is there anyone who's like... Yeah, there must be people who are out of... There we go. I was going to say, there must be people who don't have housing. Okay, we need health and security for you. All right. So we've got four extra people. Where's the kitchen? We won't do... We'll do the mushroom soup one. Um, actually, we've got a spare person. Yes, let's do that one as well. Okay. Looks like we're going okay. We seem to be stabilizing somewhat, I guess. Oh, a merchant is here. We don't... We're not... Are we bringing in logs? No. Okay. A group of strangers want to join. Oh, there's another force. We're at 47. Okay, so a merchant is here. Tools, iron ingots, and iron ore. And we've only got meat. I think I'd rather keep the meat, to be honest. Okay, what have you got to say, bud? Unending preparation. All right, chief, we need proper preparation to sustain life. Stockpile 5,000 water and 1,200 simple meal. All right, let's do it. I don't see why that would be hard for us. We seem to be going pretty, pretty all right. Uh, I wonder if there's a panel where I can see buildings with no work or a number of workers. Um, where would I see that? Life, people... Structures? Six of twelve. Three of three, three of four. Okay, can I go to that soup kitchen, like, from here? Hmm. I'd love to be able to just add one more person, you know, to the list of... That's a bit annoying. All right. Well, done. Where did I get to that? <laughs> Where was that? Structures. Okay. So this one, a gathering camp, is at 5 of 12. And this gathering camp's at 3 of 12. Okay, so the gathering camps we get to look at now. Oh yeah, right. There we go. Why can't I put up another person in that one? That's weird. Because we do have an extra person spare. Let's go to this other one. I'm going to add fish. Can't see why that would be... Why that would hurt. I mean, I could make a um, another soup kitchen. That's something to think about for future. All right, how many babies do we have? Eight children. Four people are sickly. That's not good. Mm, we've got a heap of tools. You know what? Oh, no, I don't see why I would need to give extra tools. Hmm. Let's just leave everything for now. Oh, craft and dedication. All right. Chief, we've, ac we've accumulated a massive pool of knowledge, but it remains love largely undirected and unrealized. We need to train individuals with more advanced knowledge and practical experience in certain fields. As a natural consequence of this, their needs will, be differ will differ from the rest. Go on. We should begin training craftsmen. Yes, let's do craftsmen. Oh, I didn't even read the pros and cons. <laughs> so develop a vocational training. Uh, da -da -da. Where is this? Other? No? I'm going to pause a sec. Hmm. Um, maybe they're in these ones? Unless I have to research it, which could be something. Production. Mm -hmm. Utilities. And other. Maybe it's a development. Let's have a look. Nope. Like, oh, vocational training. I do need to research it. Okay, cool. So we'll just wait. What are we in now, winter? Yeah. 
we could continue doing roads and that sort of thing right now because we've got the resources for that. Let's do a road up here. We'll do a road out, out to these. These little camps. It's pretty cool. I wonder what they're doing just hanging out there. Oh look, this guy's taking the deer. That's cool. Let's straight to the warehouse or where, oh, oh, where are you going? Man, you're good after all. So she's working at the gathering camp. Where is she going? Oh my gosh. Don't tell me she has walked for absolutely miles. Yeah, man. Where's she going now? This is intriguing. Phoebe, I want to know your life story. Where are you going? And why has she got what looks like those like rubber mallets? <laughs> Where are you headed, sweetheart? Ah, okay. All the way out here? Oh look, there's your mate. I think. Oh, what? And then you just stop here. Uh, okay, you just do you. <laughs> you just do you, matey. <laughs> All right, here's another request. Oh, our living standards. I gotta raise morale. Oh god. All right. What do I gotta do to do that? Um. Raise morale. Are you kidding? It's already at 85. All right, let's drop that to 88. That's going to be higher. <laughs> oh, that's how I can see how many are working. There we go. That's brilliant. Six of 12. Oh, this... What is this? A field worker? Don't know. Must be some kind of food production? Not sure. Great. Perfect. Gosh, we're still waiting for this population though. We've got eight children. Has everyone got housing? You do. And what, what for the tavern? So resources to be spent. Dairy and drink. I must have to... Oh! Some people have died. Oscar Hart died due to a catastrophe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's that? A lumber mill. <gasps> First loss. A sad day for us all. Oh. Sarah Rogers died due to catastrophe. Well, that's freaking sad, Sarah Rogers. We're going to rebuild the lumber mill in your honor and put everyone back to work. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's speed up time again. A lightning strike, minus 15 morale to all classes. Well, that's not good. I don't, this is what I don't understand. Why are people still camping out when there are houses? I, that's like a big mystery. Is that because they're living far away from where they're working? I don't know. Okay, we've got plenty of housing available right now. So that's good. Oops, yep. Put you back to work, please. Great. Not that we, you know, are wanting um, for lumber. For lumber. All right, we still can't do development. Just thought I would check. Oh, 
eight children became adults. Oh, hell yeah. Now this probably... I probably need to do extra housing now. Oopsie. Oh, we're into a new cycle. We can get the kale yard, basic mine, a kiln pit, uh, scout guild, technical camp, tailor. Great. Let's head to development. Um, I could do vocational training because I've got that, uh, that quest. Let's do vocational training. And we can get this. We can get our technical workers. That'll be actually really good. All right, let's get some more people making the wood there. Get some extra people. Nope, can't add more people there. I can add some people here. Okay, public health. Chief, we know we're in no place to make excessive demands, but this is a fundamental issue. Lack of care, malnutrition, hygiene problems and harsh seasons. Let us not have to remind you of the factors at play. All right, what do you suggest? Take the right steps to achieve at least regular health and try to maintain it for 30 days. All right, look, that's fair. Um, can we build any buildings that go towards that? Right now, looks like it's a no. Oh. Oh, I did. The health is great. Well, that one just happened. <laughs> Willy nilly, so that's good. All right, no, we still are waiting. We're still not getting this water. Do I need to do another well? I mean, I can. Let's make a well here. There we go. See if that helps with this quest here. All right. Oh, okay. Let's make 400 paper. Now that is in the lumber mill. So I guess we just, oh look, we've got 14 already. I guess we just swap over. Now, do you need housing? Apparently not. That's very strange. I don't understand why. 53. There should be three people that need housing. Yeah, I thought that was the case. That's very strange. Anyway. Can I put anybody else to work over here? No. Oh, I know, down at the fishing. Yes, this one, they can use them here. There we go, beautiful. Build a technical boot camp. Oh, can I do that now? I can, how cool is this? Okay, let's get this one going so we can get some specialists. I think that's a great idea. What else can we do? Cultivation for food. We need a bit more extra paper. Surveillance. Okay. What's this one actually? Area around us may hold gifts from the old world. Oh, that could be cool. Building statics. That's the kiln, the pit, the clay, the brick. Mine surveillance and weaving. Let's do the building statics just because we can at the moment. All right. Okay. What do you have to say? Building a future. Increase the population to 100. Let's do it. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what we're aiming towards, right? We're already at 53. All right, this technical boot camp. This will be interesting. That's a school. All right, so we need craftsmen. Is this what I do? Not enough workers. Great. Start training. Okay. Perfect. All right. Oh, jeez, I've got heaps of meat available. I don't think I really need anything. Where's the iron? Ooh, maybe iron? Let's trade. Mm. Let's see what 300 meat will get us. Probably not much. Oopsie. What are we aiming for? 407. There we go. 
Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to... Oh, objective complete. A new social class, yes, because we've got our boot camp and we've got some people training in here, so that's very exciting. Ooh, kiln, pit, clay, brick. Let's see. The pit. Now, where does that go? Stone, clay, sand are dug up. All right. Actually, hang on a second. No, we're okay. Let's build that one there. Okay, training is complete. One trainees are ready to to take on craftsman duties. Oh, so one of them didn't go through. Is that because he was a dummy? <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, so where would I want a craft? like specialist oh in every building by the looks of it yeah so why can't I do that now is that because I've got no hmm I'm not sure all right let's just go with the flow I've got no workers to do that one that's okay we'll wait until there are workers all right we've got a craftsman Hello? <laughs> That's all right. I don't quite know exactly what that means. All right. What have we got? Six children. We got 51 people. Did we lose somebody? No, I don't think so. All right. Cultivation, surveillance, mining surveillance and weaving kind of want to get the weaving going so I'm going to wait until we've got more paper and this might be a good place to just to press pause on this episode I reckon so we've got um everyone's in a house what on earth yeah occupy that one um, everyone's in a house and we're in the fourth cycle so that's pretty exciting I'm really looking forward to the the point of the game where we have like railway etc that'll be really cool so my name's Smox from Celebrant Quest thanks so much for joining me in new cycle um, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode take care everyone thank you don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.